1999, <clears throat> there was a struggling artist who worked for Hanna Barbera, who strived to work for Disney, and wound up getting a successful <clears throat> TV show. That man is Seth MacFarlane. Now, I like Seth MacFarlane. He was raised like I was raised. I was raised by a, a Massachusetts Portuguese grandmother. But in the sense, wasn't he raised in like Boston or something? And anyway, his accent reminds me of my Massachusetts cousins. And just all the shows that he talks about when he does his cutaways and everything like that. I really enjoy Seth MacFarlane. I like that he's a singer. Everybody thinks Seth MacFarlane is not a good guy. He's a real good guy. <clears throat> he just has a typical sense of humor. Sometimes, you know, I would watch Family Guy and say, you know, he's making fun of somebody. But if you really look deep down in the surface, Seth, Mac Seth MacFarlane made fun of himself also. Um, you know, I'm physically disabled, and, and there have been some physically disabled jokes. But in reality, <clears throat> Seth MacFarlane is telling you that all people's prejudices are stupid. He's making you think, people. And I would really like to meet him. That's my one wish. And since he used um, a Down Syndrome girl, which was commendable to him on the episode, I would like for him to use me as a physically disabled um, CP uh person on the show, but I, I really, I'd rather play another ethnicity or another disability because I don't want to be cliche, but let me play somebody with Tourette's, no, I'm just joking, um, and you know, all the songs that he sings, like Frank Sinatra and stuff, I love it. I lost my both parents that gave me the world, and I appreciate them. And I know Seth lost his mom through cancer. And Seth, I would love to hang out with you, bro. I I love, I have a fascination for toys, so I, action figures rather. So I would love to talk to Seth Green. And I had a big crush on Mila Kunis for the longest. It was like her. Topanga from Boy Meets World and Britney Spears. But she's my, one of my favorite actresses. I love Mila Kunis. I live, I live in Staten Island, New York. I'm originally from Park Slope and I just love you, man. I, I love the way you give the throwbacks to the old cartoon shows. As a matter of fact, Alex Borstein, which I love her too. From uh, Miss Swan. She look out like a man. Look like No, 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 no. You're not listening. You're not listening. Oh, yeah, yeah. You big guy. Yeah. Oh, oh. A little bit. A little bit to the big. A little bit to the big. <laughs> but anyway, I just want to say um, I hope you keep making cartoons, man, because. Like, I have AIDS, um, you know, home attendants, and the AIDS look at that as a grown man watching cartoons. Um, you know, they're from different countries and from Africa and from Lithuania. And when you do the guys that could perfectly speak English but still sound like foreigners, I know exactly what you mean. So, I just want to say, Seth McFarlane. You are freaking sweet. Giggity, 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 you. That's just nasty. What the deuce? Later, man.
peace and love. And not for nothing, if everybody in the world just did wacky shit, like Seth MacFarlane, there would be less criminals and less rapists. Yeah.